What's up, comrades? Uh, yep, Hearts of Iron 4. Um, uh, um, <laughs> I suck at intros. Uh, as you can see by the background, I, I guess that, huh. You know, I didn't know that the, uh, oh yeah, I, um, playing Old World Blues. So, um, anyways, yes, Gathering Storm. I have installed the DLC, some of the DLCs. I can't remember which ones, really, actually. I know Law Resistance is in there. You can probably tell because, look, different guy! Oh, and Carlism and military disloyalty. Oh, so that, that's how that's, yeah, you can tell, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I have uh, that one. I think I have Waking the Tiger or something like that. It's the one that adds a general pips, well, general skill tree that you can actually access with your command power and more stuff you can do with your command power besides add an extra 10% efficiency bonus to uh, your thingy majiggy. Anyways, I'm gonna go Iron Man because uh, why not? Uh, I don't have that many achievements. I have like one <laughs> for joining a faction, I think. I think that's it. So yeah, uh, cool. Uh, menu's being weird. Okay, there we go. Look at us. Ah. Madrid. Yes. Madrid, Ohio. Where everything begins. It, there actually is a town called Madrid in Ohio. And they pronounce it Madrid because they're American. I'm American. Pretend I didn't say that. <laughs> Alright. All you in there. We end the sign division. Ah, yes. Colonialism. Okay. Hmm. You know, it's kind of weird. I know Spanish, but Spain Spanish? They, 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 they you know, the S's, the, the, the C's before um, I's and E's, you, in Mexican Spanish at least, it's just an S as far as I'm concerned, as far as I've been taught. But in Spain, it's more like a TH. Atención. Maybe that's just Barcelona, and maybe they're just using Barcelona. I don't know. I don't know that much, okay? So sh you don't make fun of me. I'm just a baby. Um, I don't know. We're gonna get into a civil war anyways. Uh, Catal Catalonia has a, a lot of really good, uh, really good uh, industry right there, doesn't it? Ooh, and uh, Western Aragon as well for that, I guess, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, you know, just uh, let let's prioritize Western Aragon and then Eastern Aragon, then Catalonia, Valencia as well. Okay. Um. <laughs> uh, yes, we have it actually installed. I was just going through my mind, like, oh boy, did we uh, did we actually? <laughs> Okay, so we could go over to the fascists, you know, negotiate Carlos' support, all that. Yeah. Or we could go the based route. <laughs> Although, okay. You know what, I'm actually... Right, I forgot that... Uh, going communist doesn't necessarily mean you have to go Stalinist, you can also go anti-Stalinist, just on your own. But then the Soviet Union doesn't like you, and you're communist. So, you know... Uh, I guess we'll see. Um, hmm. I kind of want to go anarchist, though, because, uh, you know... I know, it's basic, for this game at least. It seems like everyone won Anarchist, <laughs> because it was the new thing. Wow, you know, all that. But, I don't like states. <laughs> a 
the danger posed by fascism and religious superstitions to our personal liberties is paramount pictures limited, and we must establish a broad front of political parties that are united in their opposition to the right. Only if we band together will we be able to halt their advance and save our Republica. Research. Let us research things for our research slots. Sure. I'm not gonna be super optimal or anything. Uh, cause I don't know how. Also, <laughs> it just it seems a little bit wrong. Um, you know, in a way, it seems a bit wrong. Hmm. Shit, right. Oh, yeah. This is a weird change. You have to do encryption in the, the thingy. You can't research anymore. Alright, no, no support weapons actually go to construction. Booyah. Yes, yes. I think, actually, we get a day or something, don't we, from that? Look at that, that's alright. A little bit finished. I don't know. Eh. Um... Huh. What are our divisions like? Special template, special template, special template, special template. Okay. <laughs> How much artillery do we have? A little bit. In, uh, on years. Brigade of infantry, division of infantry. Interesting. Okay. Uh, we don't have that much, actually, as far as artillery, but we have a lot of support equipment stuff, so get rid of that, and then we can get there. Thanks, okay. Every repair? I don't know, set it up there. I don't have man the guns, because... Navy? <laughs> Alright, finish what you're building. That's okay. The war starts in 37, right? <laughs> That's what I remember, at least. Um, speed 5. Let's, uh, let's go. I'm not going to create an intelligent HD yet. Come on, man. I suppose I actually should uh, get the Navy sorted out, but, you know, we can do that. Uh, later. Okay. Where, where is everyone? Galicia, Sevilla. I always hear it said Sevilla, although usually two L's in Spanish is Ia. So I'm gonna say Sevilla. And then Mercia, but not this Mercia. <laughs> there's, a, there's a place up here called Mercia somewhere, I swear. Somewhere? I don't fucking know. Not with a U though, it's with an E. E. Okay, all the planes to Madrid, I guess. You know what? No, no, no. We've we've got to got to make sure that the 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 French don't. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I know. <laughs> By roleplay, I mean make up excuses for being optimal. Listo, señor. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> we need a commandant. Oh, we need to uh, do stuff here. So you have nationalist sympathies. You don't seem to have some. Oh yeah, there's no um, descriptions of generals are only a thing in Kaiserreich, but I'm just so used to them now. Oh right, basically everyone has nationalist sympathies. Huh, funny enough, Francisco Franco does not. <laughs> really? He's literally heads. He, he, what? <laughs> Alright. Okay, well, that's a field marshal in his so. Uh, you seem alright, dude. Hey, senor. And you have nationalist sympathies. You don't, so... <laughs> what? Excuse you. <laughs> why doesn't... Why doesn't he have nationalist sympathies? I 
Hmm, Primo de Rivera. I thought he was from Portugal or something. Hmm. Indecisive. And that's all we get to know about him. National Strikes. The starting stages of a workers' revolution. <laughs> the government turns a blind eye. I see. Political violence. Mm, yes. Military disloyalty. Mm, yes. Carlism. Mm, yes. <laughs> Holy shit, weekly stability hit? God damn. <laughs> well, speed it up a little. Um. Hey, you. No, you don't have any. You? Nah. Okay. The popular front. Okay. So we've done that. Secure the Guardia de Asalto. Uh, army experience, five trained units with six infantry battalions, and they gain ten poorly trained units with three battalions. If neither is taken, the Nationalists will receive both types. These units will be removed upon the Civil War's conclusion. Okay. As far as I am aware, I have watched a guide once. Not recently, though. Just for fun, a while ago. You want to actually go with the Guardia Civil. Extremist elements continue to disrupt public order in the front line in the fight against civil unrest is a Guardia Civil. Ensuring the loyalty of our national police force must be our priority if we aim to stem the violence and maintain control. Uh, well, a cab, but okay, <laughs> sure. Police loyalty to stateless anarchists. Hmm. Oxymoron much? Where do we want to put these troops? I think I can expand it anyways, but... I don't know. Do we want to put them somewhere? Do we hate France? Do we put them all against France? Do we hate Portugal? Put them all against Portugal? Hate England? Oh! The Spanish election of 1936. Despite a massive election campaign by the Spanish Confederation of Autonomous Rights, it is the left-wing Popular Front formed by the Spanish Socialist Workers' Party and the Republican Left, with the aid of anarchists, communists, and trade unionists, which appears to have won the 1936 elections. Illustrating the heavily divided Spanish political landscape, the Popular Front's lead in the popular vote. Hmm, fun. Seems to be far more narrow than the comfortable lead in seats would indicate. Whichever new government will be formed under the leadership of President Niceto Acala, Acala Zamora, I'm trying to learn Spanish, you know. I just took a test actually in Spanish, a vocab final, because school's weird. But whatever. Um, <clears throat> in the days and weeks ahead, it will have to deal with an increasingly alienated and hostile political right. Rather than solve the political violence and societal unrest that grips our country, it therefore seems likely that the recent election's results were only served to exacerbate it. Only through the extinguishing of fascism can Spain survive. Oh boy, less political power, more communism, yay, more political power in the short term. Expand garrison control, okay. States that do not have total nationalist garrison control will start under republican ownership. Okay. Right, the on-map thingy-majiggies. Okay. I don't... There was This was, like, pretty important in the guide, but I don't remember it all that well now. Hmm. You can reassign a disloyal leader at 37 days to the military plot. We have two of them? Country is not Spain. Okay. I don't know what that fucking means. Uh, 
Ah, uh, so this is military plot if you've gone with the naturalist. This is military plot if you didn't. Okay. Uh, concessions to the left. Add 37 days to military plot. And we get good stuff. Nice. Um. Oh, I, I think you have to imprison Primo de Rivera bef uh, after his first speech. Oh, I, and you, know, you always do political arrests after an assassination. Not be available to nationalists for two months. Oh, that's not good at all. I mean, you know, two months is sizable, but I don't know. That's not very good. Not really. Concessions to the left, though, it says more political power gain. Uh, so I'm going to do that. Okay. Opposition civil war. Okay. See a campaign chest. And they're doing a Primo de Rivera speech, okay, so we get to imprison him after he does this, and they are challenging the influence in the in Ciudad Real. Okay, we're going to do some concessions to the left so that we can get more political power. And then we're going to run. Okay, I'm not... I want to, uh... So now we could spend 20 in order to take, in order to challenge it. Hmm. hmm. Okay. I think what we're gonna do is actually I'm gonna look at it here really quick. So, 500,000, a million, and some tungsten. Almost two million. And factories as well actually is important. Just some civilian factories. Um, this is a really good area to have. A couple of civilian factories, good population steel. Airport, uh, dockyard, good population. Uh, same there. Woo! We want Catalonia, that's for sure. Um, a lot of population. That isn't the most important. That's good steel right there, though. I don't think we're going to really focus on that. I'm not even sure if that's an option focus on those. These, uh, we tend to get, I think. Don't quite remember, but they have pretty good, uh... Eh. Did they have pretty good population and stuff? Galicia... Leon... I think they have, uh, the Nationalists have a place uh, events where they can challenge stuff, and that's where they get the um, traditional, like, you know, um, IRL um, borders of the Civil War. You know, approximate borders, of course, but. What, what decision can I take? Oh, yeah, okay. I'm not gonna do that. Nah. We have our own things that we can do, I believe. Yeah. So we have our own things where we can strengthen our control of, of the garrisons over in these areas, and they strengthen theirs up here and a bit down here and stuff, you know. The typical. Yeah, we can't even say about Belarus, but I think it automatically goes to them, so it doesn't matter. I'm gonna make you, uh, go there. Yeah. <laughs> Um. Ooh, missing equipment production. Fighter. Ah. 
Yes. Es importante. Um, maybe not particularly important. How are you guys doing, actually? You are doing okay. You can stop training. <laughs> um, what are the other ones I can do? Band comp? No. <laughs> oh, the... Of course, right? It's the... Uh, this is our starting gear, uh, divisions, I assume? Yep, okay. Cool. Um... Mechanical computing. Computer. Get a mechanical computer. Oh yeah, mechanical computer. I like computer. Mechanical computer. Yeah, I think we want to just keep on doing concessions to the left. I mean, look at that. <sighs> More political power gain and stability. So basically, a bunch of political power gain. A little bit less of stuff, but that's okay. Uh, but we really, we uh, we need to do imprison Primo de Rivera because he's about to make a speech. Now right, he made a speech. Let's imprison him. Uh, further inflammatory speeches are gotten rid of. I actually didn't look at that. Remove 25 days popularity fascism. Okay. Oh shit, it removed political power as well. Well, uh, imprison Primo de Rivera. Bye bye, you're an asshole. Go away. <laughs> oh jeez, 36 days, 37 days. He's gonna get imprisoned right before he does a speech. <laughs> okay, so they're challenging around here for now. It's kind of hard to see, really. It's too close. Oh, don't zoom in so fast, damn it. There you go. That's good. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Negotiating Carlos support? No! The Army of Africa? No! Uh, man. The Guardia... Guardia Civil. Actually, it'd be Guardia, because there's an A, so the U isn't going to be silent. Just uh, some little uh, some little tips for you Spanish learning peoples. Uh, popularity of communism. And we get five well-trained units with three infantry battalions. Ugh. Well, all right. <sighs> Rumbling dis uh, of disloyalty emanate from the military. We must be prepared for the worst. We'll provide crash courses in the use of weapons and basic military tactics to dedicated and committed portions of our younger supporters. So they may be armed at a moment's notice, should the worst happen. Bro, well, we know the worst is happening. We know it. We know it. We know it. Oh, we know. We know. We know. Oh wow, they've uh, they've done quite a bit there. Cordoba. Oh, they're gonna. There seems like I might have Cordoba then, if we don't stop them. And I'm gonna follow the guide to a tease. So, you know. Oh, we've suppressed national strike. What? What did we do? Why can't we take concessions to the lunch table? We really... They're still there. I'm assuming. Okay, let's just wait a day. What? Not an inevitable civil war decision is currently in front. Huh? I don't know what that means. Um, okay. <laughs> Fine. Um, dismissal of Nis Niseto Akala Zamora. Power struggle between the various parties of the left. So, recently united in the victory of the 1936 elections, has already come to a head. Wary of President Niseto Akala Zamora's centrist and compromising policies, his alienated supporters in the Cortez, 
<laughs> Judge the very dissolution of the Cortes that resulted in the elections to be unconstitutional and dismissed him from office. In Acala Zamora's stead, the Cortes has elected his old rival, Manuel Azania, who has now inherited the unenviable task of bringing back stability to the increasingly polarized Spanish political scene. I swear this is Spain, not America. <laughs> cool. And there's the dude that we all know and love from the game, the, the, the pre-DLC era. Well, maybe, maybe it's... Oh, hold on. Decision? Decision. These are decisions. Okay, so once we've stopped imprisoning Primo de Rivera... Then we can do a concession to the left. Okay, we needed to imprison him, so that's that's all right. Um, okay. Yes, we got this. Dispersed is just so good. Like a little bit more of production efficiency cap for for a bunch of fucking. <laughs> you trade a little like five percent production efficiency cap for a bunch of other bonuses that ensure that you don't get your factories bombed to shit. <laughs> and that you can be more flexible with stuff. So yeah, concessions to the left. A political assassination. tree really quickly. Is there, like, okay, well, I mean, there's, you know, all these, and disband the army, okay. Right, so we want to, uh, uh, huh, that's, okay, because I kind of want Cordoba, you know, it's, it's mountains, it's a nice, nice place, uh, there's a lot of people there, and a, fact, and a civilian factory, and it helped shorten our, our line. Hmm, I kind of want it. <laughs> How many political powers are we getting a day? Not that many. Okay, um, ah, uh, we have 20. There, well, we have a lot. We have 60. Damn it, we'll have 20 after this. It'll be fine, okay. <laughs> Um, yes, no, 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 let's, let's wait for some shit to happen. Then we can go and do that, and we'll be fine. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yep, there you go, secure the northern garrisons. Galicia, Leon, Salamanca, Valladolid, Burgos, Western Aragon, and Navarre. Western Aragon? No. No, 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 I like Western Aragon. Well, I guess we get to push through it faster because we <laughs> built infrastructure there. Alright. Um. <laughs> no more infrastructure for you. Easter Aragon. No, 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 Wait. Has completely suppressed? Really? No? I don't fucking understand. Um... Alright, we got 
construction. We want to get radio day. Sure, let's get the radio. Uh, okay, um, why can't we? Can we... I don't get it, really. I don't get it. If we wait a day. No? What? I don't, I don't understand. We have national strikes still. It's right there. Ah. I mean, I'm not gonna... Ah. Okay, they've done a political assassination. And so we will have a political unrest. We'll gain political power from this, actually. Okay, cool. It'll take 37 days, but... That's okay. Um. <laughs> Do we want to uh, build a snowman? Hmm. I don't know. I kind of want. I kind of want Cordoba, but I'm not sure if we like need it, need it, or anything. You know, I'm just gonna fucking go. Right. Uh -huh. yeah. Eh. There you go. <laughs> oh, look at that. We have full command power. Cool. Hmm. And... The northern garrisons are all theirs now. Fuck. <laughs> On Paquito. Ah. <laughs> he gains national sympathies. No. No. Tanto. No, 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 no. Wait, you both have national sympathies. Fuck. Uh. <laughs> you know what? Whatever. I don't care anymore. Okay. Enlarge the weapon caches. Retain 80% of equipment instead of 50. More political power. More army XP. Ever since... Ever... Ever... Even... Ever... Ever... Ever since... Even... Ever since... Even... Before 1934. Asturias Miner Strike. Weapon caches have been covertly established throughout the country in preparation for the inevitable need to defend our liberties with military arms. In these times of crisis, we could... We'd do well to enlarge them further. Yeet! Okay, and with that taken, uh, I'd like you to, uh, 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 I'd like you to get me a new tongue for Christmas, because apparently this one doesn't work anymore. I'd also like to thank you so very much for watching, and remember, comrades, solidarity forever.